So what happens is, Paulo, uh, this is usually what's called, let me just uh, select a trend line here. So as you can see, in this volume, uh, you can see clearly that we are moving down. We have a trend on the volume here, which is this white line. And then if you go to the chart and the price action and you use exactly the same. So if you start on the same candle as you plotted the downtrend line on the volume and then you go up to the price action like this, you can see that there is a clear divergence here. So what this means is uh, the volume is going down, the price action is going up when you have the lines opening like that. So to the left, to your left, they are close and to your right, they are. the gap is bigger between the two lines that I just plotted. This means there is a bearish divergence between the price action and the volume. And when the volume is declining so much, it means that um, people are waiting on the sidelines. They are uh, they are not decided about what to do. So no one is uh, buying or selling. And usually what this uh, turns out to be when you see a big decline like that in the volume and you start to see very, very short bars for the volume, this usually precedes a big move because when when people decide to do something because of the market indications usually they do it at the same time so that's uh, like uh, it's like a, a price action squeeze and this is something i've been learning all uh, um, over the years of watching markets and watching volume and usually when the volume goes down like that and then you know when everybody decides to do the same thing at the same time which is usually you see that the market has good conditions everyone buys at the same time and usually you have a very a very volatile move up or very volatile move down it depends on what the market conditions or sentiment um, tells you to do usually from my experience looking at the charts uh, decline in the volume to such lower levels precedes a volatile move and then you have to check if this volatile move will go to the upside or to the downside. Actually, you also ask more volume, more probability of upside. No, it doesn't mean that you have more volume, you can go to the upside. It means that uh, you can have a lot of volume and still go to the downside, which is a bullish divergence. So, so this is the opposite. When the price action is going down and the volume is going up, so the lines are, uh, the gap is smaller on the right side of the chart. This means that you have a bullish divergence. And usually it means that you can have uh, some kind of violent reaction to the upside. In the bearish divergence, however, the probabilities are that the, which is the case right now in this chart, the probabilities is that the price action will go to the lower, uh, to, the, to the downside.